With so much attention given to telescopes and eyepieces, it can be easy to forget how simple and enjoyable it is to go out and observe the nighttime sky with a pair of binoculars. Recently, I had the opportunity to go out under some dark skies and had some incredible views with my binoculars of the Milky Way and other deep sky objects like the Hercules Star Cluster and the Dumbbell Nebula. Going from the eyepiece with one eye to binoculars with two eyes has the objects almost pop out of the background when you're looking at them. It's truly a unique and incredible view in astronomy. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some budget-friendly binoculars that you could use to get some incredible low and medium magnification views of the nighttime sky. If you enjoy this type of video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel. But most importantly, let me know about your questions and experiences with binoculars in the comments section below. Let's get started by taking a look at our first pair, the 8x25 Celestron Outland X. At around $50, the 8x magnification and 25mm lens make it a light and compact option for low magnification views. To get a realistic idea of how much sky you will see with these, let's compare their 8 degree field of view to a full moon. With the moon taking up about a half degree of the sky, you can see just how wide these binoculars are, which make them great for viewing the Milky Way, studying constellations, and general stargazing. On top of that, my wife enjoys using them for bird watching as well. My second recommendation for binoculars is going to be the Celestron 15x70 Skymaster. These are my go-to binoculars for most nights of observing. At around $90, let's see how its 15 times magnification and 70 millimeter lens compare to our Outland X binoculars. As you can see, we've pretty much doubled our magnification and are now looking at slightly more than a four degree field of view. My favorite object to view with these is the moon. Going from the eyepiece of a telescope to a pair of binoculars really allows the shadows and surface detail to pop out. I've also enjoyed these for deep sky objects such as the Hercules Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, Orion Nebula, and much more. Eagled eye observers will even be able to make out the Galilean moons of Jupiter and detect hints of the rings of Saturn. Regardless of what pair of binoculars you own for astronomy, let's go over some tips right now that'll help you get the best experience using them every night. First, be sure to use an adapter to connect your binoculars to a tripod for steady viewing. This is especially important for stabilizing the views of larger binoculars like the 15 by 70 Skymaster. Second, it's important to know how to achieve proper focus. Most binoculars will have what's called a diopter adjustment ring. This will help to compensate for any differences between your eyes. To find proper focus, begin by using the center knob to focus your left eye. Now switch over to your right eye and use the diopter adjustment to achieve sharp focus for that eye. Once that's completed, you should have sharp focus for both eyes and you can use the center knob for any future adjustments needed during that night of observing. Binoculars are the unsung hero of amateur astronomy and are often overlooked when we spend so much time focusing on expensive telescopes and eyepieces. Make sure you have a good set of binoculars for astronomy by your side the next time you go out to observe. If you've got a pair of binoculars that you use for astronomy or you've got questions about any of the ones we talked about in this video, please be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.